Hi, this is going to be a, a video on the reactions of A-Reens. Now, A-Reens, you may have seen, called benzene. It's, it's often drawn as a hexagon, often with a circle in the centre, sometimes with three double bonds going around. So either of those, you see it drawn different ways. This A-Reen here has got some side chains on it. But you'll see it lots of different ways. It's got lots of different names, really. I'm using A-Reens now, but you'll see it. Benzene or benzo, phenol is often used to describe it. But just for consistency's sake, I'm going to refer to it as an A-Reen all the way through. So the first reaction of A-Reen we're going to look at is the nitration of A-Reens. This is, we're going to add a nitro group on. Now, a nitro group is NO2. So in these reactions I'm going to start with benzene and I'm going to react it with nitric acid. So the nitric acid is where this NO2 is going to come from. Need a catalyst and in all these aerium reactions we're going to need a catalyst. In this case use sulfuric acid as my catalyst and that is going to add this nitro group on it's a bit of nitro added on now you can see the NO2 there we've lost from here to get the NO2 a hydrogen and one oxygen so it gives me H and O and this nitro group is going on to the benzene here and what's coming off instead of the nitro group is another hydrogen. So that gives me my other product, H2O. And it's known as a substitution reaction. So we're taking the NO2 and we're substituting it with a hydrogen. So here is, we don't draw them on in the skeletal version, but there's a hydrogen just there. That's getting swapped with a nitrogen. And the hydrogen's going into the leftover hydrogen and oxygen to form H2O. Now this can be done with any A ring, this reaction. So for instance, it doesn't have to just be a benzene ring. It could have other side chains on as well. So here I've got an alcohol side chain and a carboxylic acid side chain. I can do the same reaction. So HNO3, which is nitric acid, and a catalyst of H2SO4, which is sulfuric. will form NO2 as well. Now you may notice here, and you'll often see this, I've drawn this slightly differently here than I have up here. And that's because this carbon bond is going to the nitrogen. And I wanted to show it's going to the nitrogen. If I'd drawn it like that, with the NO2 written the same way around, I'm showing the bond here go into the oxygen, which isn't right. The bond goes to the nitrogen. So I have to put the nitrogen first and then put the oxygen in a slightly weird uh, position. But it's just to show that this bond goes to the nitrogen. We see up here, the bond goes straight to the nitrogen. It's not in the middle. It's just going to the nitrogen. So the second reaction we need to look at is when we add a halogen. So the same thing is going to happen again. Take my aerine this time. Which we have. Let's take uh, a methyl uh, aerine. So I've just got a methyl side chain on there. This time I can react to it. And my halogens, they all exist as diatomic molecules. We don't like to go around on their own. So we're going to add it to Br2. Now, bromine. What's going to happen here is this is going to substitute just like the nitro group did with one of the hydrogens on this ring. And there are rules for where it will go, which one it'll swap with. For now, I'm just going to go here. You can have a look. Let's set. There is, you could look further ahead. 
and have a look. I think I've got some videos in another playlist showing how we decide where it goes. Not really that necessary, it can go to any position. It just prefers to go to some. So it's just one bromine though here that's going on. So the other bromine is going to join with a hydrogen that it substitutes with. So we get HBr as a product, we get one bromine added on, and the catalyst we use to make this happen, we can use a few actually, we could use FeBr3, AlBr3, or we could use just iron by itself. So any one of those three catalysts will make this reaction occur, or help this reaction occur. They are the two reactions you need to know. You need to remember the catalyst. Often asked about in tests and exams, what catalyst would you use? So for a nitration, it's sulfuric acid. For a halogenation, it's any one of these.